Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Grand Junction kits which form part of the Pico range. The London and North Western Railway wooden building in sectional style kits comes as four different components, in much the same way as the original buildings were also sectional. We sent our modeler Jeff to the Neem Valley Railway to check out the Wandsford Road station and take a closer look. The waiting room on platform 2 is referred to as the Barnwell building due to it having been moved from Barnwell station to Wandsford on the 5th of April in 1977. The building is of typical LNWR wooden construction and it was originally built in 1884 for the use of the members of the royal family when visiting Barnwell Manor, home of the Duke of York. We're going to complement the Grand Junction kits with these items from the wheels and ratio kit ranges to help build a 4mm scale Wandsford Road Station Platform Building 2. First of all, Jeff starts off by laying out the front and the back of the building by selecting the components he needs after studying his photos. Then he removes the rough edges and glues them together keeping them on a flat surface and using a ruler to keep them all level. Then he selects the end panels and slices off the top before taking another end panel and using a protractor he creates the pitch for the roof. He then joins these two pieces together. Then we spray them with white primer. This is to make the painting of the window frames, which are white, much easier. When they're dry, Jeff attaches the glazing to the inside of the window frames. Next, he brings all four of the walls together and cements them in place using two set squares to make sure the building is square and straight. Now Jeff turns his attention to the roof. He lines up the sections of slate tile sheets, making sure the runs of tile match up. Then he glues them together using plastic filler to help blend the joint. Once it's all gone hard, he then uses a scalpel and scrapes the excess plastic filler to help improve the look of the joint. Then it's a simple case of measuring the length of the building and cutting the roof sections to suit. Now we begin the painting process. Kindly provided by Phoenix Precision Paints, we start with the LMS Building Cream for the bulk of the walls and for the uprights we are using LMS Building Brown. Next on the list of things to do is the canopy. Jeff cuts the SSMP229 sheets and batten roofing, taking care not to slice his fingers. Next he adds the trim, followed by the SSMP220 tongue and groove boarding underneath. Now he places the canopy to one side and begins fitting the roof. Barge boards, gutters and drain pipes all need to be fitted. We would also like to thank London Road Models for their brass LNWR style station canopy brackets, which then we attached to the canopy and to the building. And here we have the finished product. It really is very simple to bring the Grand Junction components together to form many different styles of sectional building from the LNWR period. Then why not give it a try for yourself and see what you can create with these useful little kits. So until the next time, keep modelling.